The all-new Laurel Park is beyond your expectations. Feel the anticipation. This long shot coming there. Witness the speed. Experience the thrill. Hi, Maryland Racing fans, and welcome to the replay show for Thursday here at Laurel Park, August 16th, as we wind down the Laurel Park summer meet, racing today, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday for the final four days of a summer meet. A reminder, coming up Saturday, Maryland Pride Day with Maryland Racing, Maryland Food, and Maryland Drink. We'll have the Miss Disco, the Ben's Cat, the Star Dinesca, and the Jamila Stakes. Also, the day of the Champions Handicapping Tournament with over $33,000 in prizes. Register for the Champions Handicapping capping tournament at laurelpark.com hope to see you Saturday uh, to wager against your fellow handicappers it is a qualifying handicapping tournament for three big tournaments coming up uh, details at laurelpark.com so 110 will be post time today Friday Saturday and Sunday on this Thursday afternoon the track fast and the turf is firm 10 races on the program and a pick six carryover $10,137 here's the first from Laurel Park And they're off. Derecho and Flankenstein are out first. Hot Mike, early speed on the outside. And When the Doves Cry, down to the inside. Circle of Light, far outside racing there in fifth. Then skipping to victory, followed by Mr. Lewis settling about mid-pack. And Cannons Roar near the inside as they head into the turn. And Scrabble and Valera is the last runner. Ten lengths will cover the field around the turn, where When the Doves Cry gets away almost two lengths from Derecho, Flankenstein. The outside is Hot Mike racing up and keeping up in fourth. And and it's skipping to victory in fifth. They're followed by Circle of Light six. Top of the stretch with a quarter of a mile left to go. When the Doves Cry opens up, three length lead. Flankenstein and Hot Mike on the outside of the rail is skipping to victory. And they're followed by Cannon's Roar to try to pick up a share. Extreme outside Circle of Light, one widest on the course with a furlong left to go. When the Doves Cry, here comes Cannon's Roar and a very wide Circle of Light gaining a bit of ground, but time is running out. When the Doves Cry, when the the Doves Cry holding, holding to win it by three quarters of a length from Circle of Light and Cannon's Roar in the photo for second. And they're off. Jarvis Steele at Agnostic. Piper Hill now in between horses, showing early speed and chasing in the second. Flight Miner's Quest is up there, too. And here's put your seatbelt on in the green colors. Not a chance. Has dropped some five links off that pace. They're followed by Joseph Agnostic at a sharp start, but now has one beaten. That's Uno Amayo. It's trailing the field in about ten lengths on the front end of the far turn, where it's the great Jarvis Steele showing the way about a length and a half from Piper Hill. Miner's Quest. Put your seatbelt on. Going smoothly on the inside. Put your seatbelt on. Now takes aim on the speed of Jarvis Steele from the top of the lane. Joseph is trying to fire on there. Moves up into fourth on the outside. Into the stretch. A quarter of a mile left to go. Jarvis Steele put your seat belt on. Then Piper Hill and Joseph out toward the middle of the track. They're followed by Agnostic. Just about a furlong left to go. Put your seat belt on. Matches Jarvis Steele's strides. And now put your seat belt on in front. Put your seat belt on with a 16th to go. Put your seat belt on. Jarvis Steele close third. The Jarvis and the inside Piper Hill. Put your seatbelt on a dozen lifetime to win from Jarvis Steele and a photo for third.
they're off. Cut time and string bean. Bridges cross on the outside, showing early foot four deep into the turn run. Carved is right there too, so four of them sorting out on the pace together. Just in behind them is Donna's Delight, who's now settled four and a half for five from the lead. dropped second last position, and Demelza is the trailer. Cut time down along the rail. The favorite leads the way from Carved by about a neck. It's Bridget's Cross in third and String Bean in fourth. Length and a half more, and Donna's Delight is settled in in fifth. Another four lengths, and Demelza is sixth and last. 24.39 the opening quarter. Six furlongs left to run. On the outside now, Carved goes on. Carved now takes the lead away from Cut Time is back second, and Bridget's Cross another two and a half, and String Bean is in fourth. Donna's Delight up the two path in fifth, and Demelza is sixth. Seven lengths to close in now, and Carved has got the lead. Carved carving out the fractions half, 48.76. As they head into the far turn, Carved is up front. Carved is the leader. Now Donna's Delight bids up on the outside, takes second. Cut time is trying to stay in the inside in third position. And Bridget's Cross is in fourth. String Bean is racing fifth and now trying to close in from four. Off the lead, String Bean is advanced to fourth. Another six lengths back and Demelza. With two and a half furlongs left to go, Donna's Delight takes over. Donna's Delight and String Bean are now 1-2. Carved has gone up the scene from third and cut timed out of the inside. A bit game there in fourth and trying to come back for a little more as retake in third there at the 316s. String Bean, Donna's Delight and cut timed out of the inside. Very willing. A furlong left to go and it's String Bean up top. String Bean, cut time, resurgent on the inside to second with a 16th left to go. String Bean is 8-1. to one. String Bean from the favorite cut time. String Bean. String bean cut time. Down is delight. Then it was carved. Demelza. And they're off. Free to Trump and Lovature out one, two, and Smart to a T to the outside. El Guerrero Azteca calculated thinking is fifth in between horses. And Creepy the Crab alongside of that one. And last is Dove Dynasty is on the inside now. Six lengths from the front. Free to Trump leads the way with four furlongs left to go. Half length from Lovature and Smart to a T on the outside and third. Three more lengths, El Guerrero Azteca. Calculated thinking's got a pick it up there. On the inside is Dove Dynasty and last is Creepy the Crab. Three of them Line up across the track, less than three furlongs to go. Smart to a T, 23.13 was the opening quarter. Now punching just ahead of Free to Trump down to the inside. And Lovature trying to stay. Calculated thinking. Now trying to get to the game of the far outside. El Guerrero is a saving ground and driving. Air into the stretch at the 316s. Free to Trump is turned back rivals. Free to Trump. Free to Trump opens up four lengths on Calculated Thinking. Calculated Thinking trying to gain, but Free to Trump. Free to Trump and first win here for George Unizar Velasquez. It's free to Trump from Calculated Thinking, Smart to a T, and then Dub Dynasty, El Guerrero Azteca.
and they're off. Rugged Bridle, Indian Paint, Indian Paint. Now just in front from Broken Bridle. Match strides to that turn run. Imply away in third. And here's Armois, the favorite in between horses there in fourth. And the outside is quick with it. Only about four and a half from the front and a rain trailing the field. So Broken Bridle will go on. Broken Bridle is just in front. Just an easy pace from Longshot, Indian Paint. And the favorite Armois is an unhurried third and tugging along two and a half or three from the front and Imply racing in fourth. Then quick with it and a rain. 24.92 is that opening quarter mile. And so Broken Bridle and Alex Centron slowing it right on down with Indian Paint a length and a half behind in second and Armois is in third position right alongside of her. Imply is unhurried there in the fourth spot. Then back to Quick Witted and a rain with a lot to do against a slow pace with about a half mile left to go. 49.81 for the four furlongs and Broken Bridle enjoying a free run up front. Broken Bridle from second Indian Paint and Armois alongside of her. Imply is next and fourth, and Quick Witted has to quicken up there. Some six on the front, and a rain ridden along at the back of the pack. So Broken Bridle slowed it down, got something left for the final two and a half furlongs. Is a two and a half length lead with Amois just in second, Indian Paint, then Quick Witted fourth. Imply and a rain in the back of the pack. They turn for home with Broken Bridle into the stretch, a length and a half. And now Amois got every chance to quicken on the outside. Broken Bridle put to right handed pressure with one furlong left to go. Armois on the outside, quick-witted. Imply's got a shot, too, and here comes Imply up between horses with a late burst of energy. Four-way finish, here's the line. Broken bridle, broken bridle. Imply was in the photo with Armois right there, and quick-witted, and a thriller at the end. And they're off. Seeking the sunset break sharp. Blow and smoke is there. And here's Benevolent Prince the Great charging right out to the early lead. On the outside now is Accolade getting position right off with speed of Benevolent Prince. So Benevolent Prince and Accolade and Seeking the Sunset. Racing a close third of the inside and Blow and Smoke is back in fourth position. Five more lengths back and Amplify travels in fifth. Sadler Bay has worked over to save some ground out for the two path and now near the rail. Mr. Bridger follows that. Then thank you Ricketts and back to Great Bend. Rule yourself, and the Sugar Train is the last runner. 17 lengths from first to last, 23.49 in the opening, two furlongs. Benevolent Prince showing the way. Benevolent Prince about a length in front from Accolade to stalking second and seeking the sunset down inside there in third position. Blow and Smoke is fourth. Amplified traveling on the inside, fifth, five lengths on the front. Then Mr. Bridger and Sadler Bay are next. And thank you, Ricketts. On the inside is Great Bend is next. Then Rule Yourself, still in the back is Sugar Sugar Train, about 13 lengths covers them still. 47.21 was the half mile. Benevolent Prince has settled into a steady beat. Three furlongs left to go, seeking the sunset. Bids to put pressure on from second, and Accolade is in third. Four more lengths and Amplified travels in fourth position. Mr. Bridger pushing through on the inside. Fifth still has eight lengths to come. They're in the, the stretch. Others. Mr. Seeking. Bridger's moved into third, trying to get in the final furlong, but too much to do. Seeking the sunset. Seeking the sunset. Solid to win under Edwin Gonzalez. Seeking the sunset by five or six. Six. Benevolent Prince was second. Then it was uh, Mr. Bridger and followed by Thank You Accolade. Thank you. Next to
and they're off. Carter Ed quick away from the gate. DeGrom on the outside, and Twin Bell are now in third position in between horses. Brighton Lane on the extreme outside, and Hammer and Hammer, and Bell four in the back on the inside. Five lengths covers that field, and Carteret with a sharp beginning up front and moving right along with Julian Pimentel holding the lead two and a half lengths around that turn from DeGrom and Brighton Lane. Twin Bell are down to the inside in the second group. Hammer and Hammer has about five to make up early, and last is Bell four. 25.31. Easy opening quarter mile out there with six furlongs left to go for front running Carteret. Carteret slowing it down, got him backed up and stacked up with Twin Valor and DeGrom outside of that one. And then it's Brighton Lane racing fourth while in the three path. Bell four down inside of the red colors and Hammer and Hammer is last up against the slow pace set by Carteret. Carteret is nursed along by Pimentel, a half mile 49.84, heading into the far turn run. Carteret is the leader a little more than a length from Twin Valor and DeGrom and Brighton Lane. Then Bell Ford out of the inside and Hammer and Hammer trailing the field into the turn with three furlongs left to go. Carteret is the leader. Carteret from Twin Valor second. Outside Brighton Lane. DeGrom is pressured in between horses from fourth. Belfour slipping through on the inside now with a bid. Here comes Belfour moving into second. Hammer and Hammer in the back of the pack, but saving ground into the stretch. They turn for home with Carteret the leader by three. Belfour is giving it a good charge from second to the outside as Hammer and Hammer racing in third with a furlong left to go. Carteret slowed it down. Belfour very game on the outside and coming with a bit to put ahead in front. It's Belfour, Hammer and Hammer closing very late in the scene. Carteret back in third, Belfour. Belfour, Hammer and Hammer, then Carteret, and Brighton Lane was fourth. And they're off to a clean beginning. Bell Rue on the inside, Aquamarina, and here's Romani Sempre Forte tugging along between horses in the third bidding circle. Sophia is an angel down on the inside, racing a close fifth into the turn run. They are followed by Dancing with Painter, then Hot Girl on the inside, only about six from the front as they move around that turn. Around that turn is Bell Rue. Bell Rue in front from Aquamarina in the second spot. Romani Sempre Forte, Sophia is an angel. Bidding circles racing in fifth, and it's proud of Patty's next and six, Hot Girl, and Dancing with Painter, and Fed Up, Fired Up. So leading the way is Bell Rue through an opening quarter of 24.96. Just a neck lead from Aquamarina in second. Two more lengths, Remane Sempre Forte, and Sofia is an angel is in fourth. Proud of Patty Zagray on the inside in fifth, bidding circle six. Fed Up, Fired Up, and Hot Girl, and Dancing with Painter is in the back. A dozen lengths first to last, not much change, with Bell Rue and Aquamarina still racing 1-2. They're a half mile in 49. 0.13 with three and a half furlongs left to go. Belru tries to kick away now from Aqua Marina, and still keeping up on the outside. Romane Sempre Forte, Sofia is an angel. Proud of Patty now within range out there, three deep toward the quarter pole. Hot girls in between horses, fed up, fired up, and bidding circle, dancing with Painter. And they're into the stretch, and Belru tries to pour it on, kicks away by three. But here's Proud of Patty on the outside, up the inside, as Sofia is an angel, shifting a little bit. Belru, Belru. Route, trying to get the concentration back. Sophia is an angel down to the inside. Sophia is an angel comes on through with Prado Patty moving to second. Belru is third. Sophia is an angel two for Tesori today. It is going to be Sophia is an angel from Prado Patty and Belru is third. Three and a photo.
and they're off. The rail Green Island out to the front with Union Blues, and here's Sir Orinoco right up there, a sharp third with speed two and homespun here on the outside, coming to join the pace. Spirit Grabbers in between horses, he'll shadow the gray on the far outside. Another two to Clubman, and perfect cover is in the back. Only six lengths from first to last. Union Blues ahead in front from Sir Orinoco as they head on for the far turn run. So into the turn they go. The opening quarter was in 22.72. It is Union Blues in front, Sir Orinoco keeping pace on the outside in second. Spirit Grabber is in third. And the outside there in fourth position. There is Homespun Hero. At the inside is Graves Island. Hill Shadow is next. Clubman is going to be the one widest to the quarter pole and perfect cover trailing the field. Top of the stretch, Union Blue Sir Orinoco at Graves Island, third on the inside after a 45.75 sharp half mile. And Union Blues is turning them all back with Graves Island's up on the inside. Union Blues, Graves Island, Sir Orinoco did not fire his drop back as Graves Island tries to shift off the rail. Union Blue shifts it over to the rail, but in front, Luis Rodriguez, Union Blues does it from Graves Island. Then it was perfect cover, Spirit Grabber, and Homespun Hero. Time in 109.51. And they're off slow to go there with Storm Diva. Very slow to begin. Matinee Bay Bods ever in your favor, showing Speed Dorcas carry on the outside, and Sweet Walilla is right there, too, as the four sort out. Lemon Avocado away running in fifth, Starship Yenta six, Rail Tenor tucked in at the rail in seventh, and only five lengths off that pace. Stratosphera follows that. Kalaloon is on the inside, and Storm D has made a bigger progress for the back of the pack after breaking last, as Bet Her Later is three wide of the turn, and Budokai is outrun at this point. Less than three furlongs to go. It's Dorcas carry, odds ever in your favor, the black colors, the outside lemon avocado attempting to sweep up wild three wide. Sweet Walele is retreating, then Matinee Babe attempts to kick it in between horses. And out in the middle of the track is Realton Orr. They're down to the last furlong. Dorcas carry odds ever in your favor on the inside, Matinee Babe. And here comes Realton Orr. Realton Orr leveling off on the far outside, Matinee Babe. And Realton Orr to the final 16th of a mile. Stratosphere is moving third from the inside, Matinee Babe, Realton Orr. And Stratosphere is Surging on the inside, photo, photo, photo indeed, three-way go, matinee bay maybe. That's it for the replay show from Thursday afternoon. Whatever your plans are this weekend, make sure they include Laurel Park for Maryland Pride Day on Saturday, a Champions Handicapping Tournament that same day as well. Sunday, our Sunday brunch in the Garden Terrace, the final one of the Laurel Park Summer Meet, just $27 per person. Get all the news information, Laurel Park, in your weekly uh, inbox at laurelpark.com forward slash email. Just enter your email address, laurelpark.com forward slash email. We'll be happy to send you our weekly newsletter to keep you up to date on all things Maryland racing. That's it for the Thursday program. We'll see you Friday with a 110 post time.